Billions of people around the world believe Jewish Torah is divine, Christians and Muslims alike. Do recent mathematical discoveries linking the constant pi to the first verse of Torah in its original Hebrew language support the claim that Torah is divine? Judge for yourself. The constant pi plays an important role in both math and the sciences. According to documented history from different cultures and societies around the world, the most anyone knew 2,000 years ago about pi was less than five digits and less than 10 digits 1,000 years ago. Torah language does not contain digits. Instead, each letter of the Hebrew alphabet has a numerical value assigned to it in accordance with the sequence of the Hebrew alphabet. Adding up the values of the letters in a word gives us the gematria value of the word. The default numerical value is called regular gematria. The next most commonly used or known value is small gematria, which is the same as regular gematria, only without zeros. Examples of gematria number systems may be found in the Talmud and other Jewish texts. The Hebrew word Torah has a regular gematria value of 611. The first verse of the Hebrew Torah has a regular gematria value of 2701. Presenting Pi's first 611 digits after the decimal point. Adding these 611 seemingly arbitrary digits of Pi together 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 5 and so on gives 2701. The Hebrew word Torah has a small gematria value of 17. The first verse of the Hebrew Torah has a small gematria value of 82. Presenting Pi's first 17 digits after the decimal point. Remarkably, adding these 17 digits together gives 82. Moreover, the consecutive 17 digits, right after the 611th digit, add up to 82 yet again. Therefore, the regular and small gematria values of the first verse of the Hebrew Torah, 2701 and 82, have a perfect mirror image in Pi's decimal digits. Presenting Pi's first 82 digits after the decimal point, with each digit multiplied by itself, or squared. The first 82 decimal digits of Pi, each squared, add up to exactly 2,701. This is a reflection yet again of the regular and small gematria values of the first verse of Hebrew Torah, 2,701 and 82. The first verse of the Hebrew Torah has seven words and a total of 28 letters. The sum of the first seven decimal digits of pi is 28. Additionally, it was discovered that the initials, the first letter of each word of the first verse of the Hebrew Torah, have an average value of 3.14. The probability for these matches to occur in a randomly selected book has been calculated by computers, and it is virtually impossible to get such matches by random. It is estimated that there are less than 200 million books in the world. This means there are not enough books in the world for such matches to occur in a randomly selected book. As a conservative probability value for such matches to occur in a randomly selected book, is one to one quadrillion. That is five million times the estimated amount of books in the world. These findings are not found in an arbitrary book or a random word sequence. No, these findings are found in the most influential book in the history of mankind, the original Hebrew Bible. Right at the first verse, 
The first and main statement of the ten statements by which the Creator created the world. Bereshit, bara, Elohim, et hashamayim, ve'et ha'aretz. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the one-hour video titled Code of Creation Part 1, these findings and many more are being revealed.